What up guys, it's Drama for Life here. Today, I wanna to talk about Sephiroth. Actually, I'm gonna be debunking Sephiroth and one of his biggest feats, and that is destroying the solar system. Now, Sephiroth is the main villain in Final Fantasy VII. He is a big component to the main character's story, and he's been a character that's been stated by a lot of uh, fans that he's been very powerful and that he's solar system level. And in this video, I'm gonna be debunking that. Now. I already, I already uploaded at uh, about this time um, another debunking video where I had on Death Battle with their Goku vs Superman video, the first one. Now that video is going to be a little bit different than this one. That one I screen recorded on my laptop and I talked over it and talked about what uh, happened in that, like, you know, I paused it throughout moments and then started talking about stuff that I felt was incorrect and the information they got incorrect and started like debunking the video as a whole. For this video, I'm gonna be de debunking a specific character so I wouldn't really need to record anything. I'm just gonna talk to you and probably put up some images and uh, some information that I have. Now, Sephiroth is a character that is stated by fans and a lot of people to be soul system level. But if you actually understand the game and what he him as a character you would understand that isn't the case sephiroth is actually not a soul system buster now why do i say he's not a soul system buster well the only time we see him destroying a soul system is through the one cutscene. every time he uses uh one of his specific attacks i forgot what the name of the attack is but every time he uses his attack it basically transitions into a cutscene where it shows him flying on the outside and shooting a big energy blast and it hitting the earth and stuff going through planets and then just wiping out the soul system. Now, if you see that clip, you you would be assuming like, yeah, he is soul system level, but that's only a cutscene through and an animation through a specific move that he uses, one of his like built up power moves when he when you fight him. But that ability and that level of power from him has never been shown throughout the game itself. Now in the game, He's never, he doesn't show to be destroying Soul System only in that little cutscene through his move set, but in the game itself, his plan is far different. What he's planning to do is gather the energy from inside the planet, use it to call upon a meteor from the sky to hit the earth and basically destroy wiping all life uh, out on earth. So that was his main plan for a meteor to hit, but it would take some time, like I think uh, a couple months or something. So the characters had some time to prepare to, you know, battle up and get to the point where they could take him down and defeat him. So that whole, you know, his whole plan was to bring an asteroid crashing and destroying the surface and wiping out all life on Earth, which is far less than destroying a solar system. Like I said, we don't see it at all in the actual gameplay or in the story, we only see it in like that spe one specific cutscene for that specific move. And people say it's just an illusion and that it's not actually real, which I can agree with. I think it's just for fun visual effects, uh, you know, in the game. I don't think it's something to take serious. A lot of people who try to argue that he's a soul system buster, I think are kind of misconstruing his power. Because in the actual game, he's only sending a meteor. That's nowhere near the level of a solar system, you know? At most, that's like surface level, like planet, uh, planet surface level. And even if you want to go high enough, it will be planet level. But I wouldn't equate it to being solar system level. He doesn't show anything of that power. And these characters fight against other beings that use guns and, like, you know, machinery. So for them to go from, like, you know, tanks and different robotic stuff and giant, like, machines to... So system busting, uh, uh, you know, enemies, that seems a little bit too ridiculous and high uh, jump of power. So yeah, Sephiroth is not a uh, soul system buster. At most, you can equate him to being a uh, surface level uh, destroyer. And he could wipe out the, you know, all of humanity, but it does require quite a bit of power. And he does have to use a specific technique to do so. So other words, besides that, he can't really destroy a soul system buster. Soul system, so he's not a soul system buster. And I will be making a uh, couple of videos like this where I'll be talking about specific characters and I will be debunking them or specific versions of those characters and debunking them. So stay in tune for that. But I'm also going to be doing, like with my other video with the uh, Goku versus Superman debunk video, I'm going to do quite a bit of videos like that debunking other screw attack videos and maybe other people like Seth the Programmer, uh, SSJ Ryu1, some other people that I feel like 
the stuff they're saying might not be correct but these videos are going to be specifically targeted to just specific characters not anybody's videos on them so i hope you enjoy this video